This morning, extraordinary scenes across China. Protests in multiple cities against the government's grinding zero COVID rules. From Shanghai in the east to Urumqi in the northwest, crowds swelled in defiance, spilling over to the heart of Beijing. We want to be free! We want to be free! Chanting for freedom from the grip of a COVID policy that protesters say has worn on too long. They're calling for the end of lockdowns, the end of testing, all of the zero COVID measures that have ruled daily life here. The blank sheets of paper to protest censorship, the internet here scrubbed of any hint of unrest. The boldest public challenge yet for leader Xi Jinping. In Shanghai, surrounded by police, some protesters daring to call for him to step down. A move almost unheard of in China. They did it for everybody, says this woman in Beijing. The national outcry triggered by a deadly fire in Xinjiang that took hours to put out. The delay widely blamed on COVID measures there, where lockdowns have confined most people for months. Videos on social media showing candlelight vigils and shows of frustration. Unblock, they yelled in Chengdu, while in Guangzhou, they did knock down barriers. China's government has tried tweaking its zero COVID rules, but with cases near a record high, they're bearing down again. Quelling the unrest, now a challenge for the Communist Party, with no exit from zero COVID in sight. So far, the leadership and state media have been silent on the protests, and foreign ministry officials today didn't directly address growing anger. So what's next isn't clear, but for Xi Jinping and the leadership here, it seems there are only hard choices. Hoda? Well, Janice, that was a, an eye-opening report there. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.